When I see asymmetrical problems, I'm taking a three-step approach to fixing them. And that is just a general rule that I'm gonna give you for absolutely anything and everything that we do. Hopefully you can get it down to one step and you have just that one little thing that you know to do. Um, but when we're starting, when we're looking at stuff, there's three major things, three major pieces that we need to address. And those are the three planes of motion. So we have this front to back plane that helps me crunch down a little bit. I need a little bit of that. And I also need my rib cage to come back. And uh, in general, for one, and that's our plane number one, this sagittal plane, this front to back plane. Number two is our frontal plane. Now we need to come in. We need it to be like we're wearing a corset. We need to turn the obliques on so that they can make us look skinnier automatically, like right away. Um, it's not, you know, we're not losing any weight. We're just toning up our abdominal muscles. And what that's doing is it's reshaping the rib cage. It's helping pull that left side specifically more inward so that we can have some semblance of symmetry rather than having that left side up and out um, more so. And then step number three is we need the right amount of rotation. So in general, with the asymmetries that we have, we're generally turned, especially in this rib cage area, we're turned to the right, right in this lower rib cage area. We're turned slightly to the right. What we need to do is turn it back to the center or even slightly left so that, again, we can have a little bit more symmetry. Um, you might, you know, if we go back to step one, I talked about bringing the ribs down. I like to do that with a nice exhale, like, and you've seen me talk about that in many of the daily videos that I've done for the last year, which obviously you've watched all of by this point. Um, and when I'm fixing that, though, I might need to treat it asymmetrically because I have an asymmetrical problem. So it might not be enough for me to just take both sides down, but I like to start people there anyway because it's easier to conceptualize and it removes any other limitations. You know, you might still need some help on the right side. It's just gonna be a lot easier to get than the left side. And if you're, you know, if you're strong enough to do pull-ups, you, you know, it's likely, it's very likely. I've thought about this already, okay? <laughs> um, and then to tie that back to step three, there's this asymmetrical ribs down that needs to happen on the left. So we, we fix that sagittal plane. We, we bring them in, we fix that frontal plane, and then we, turn a little bit, we fix that transverse plane. And notice that I do it with an exhale every time. That's because the left side of the rib cage is bigger. In doing that, the lung is full, there is more air in it. I'm just gonna keep moving my hand like this. There's more air in it and pressurized air can lift a car. So we need to get it out of the way. We can't just like crunch into it and say, yeah, am I in the right spot? Well, no, you can't get to the right spot because there's too much air there. We need to remove the volume, shrink the volume itself, and we need to do that with an exhale and with these positioning exercises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, I think I wrote five different exercises, um, two for step one, and then, you know, the last three, step two and three are kind of like the same steps, the frontal and transverse plane, they really go together. Um, and even, you know, even the second one is, is both of those as well. So we're gonna address all of these steps, but taking these three planes of motion and identifying the problem that you have is, uh, in my mind, a good way to start addressing it. So we have ribs that are too up in the front, we have ribs that are too wide to the side, and we have ribs that are too turned away from themselves. So what we need to do is bring them down in the front, we need to bring them in from the side, and then we need to bring them back to midline.